Hey guys, back again. So let's start the 31 Days of Horror like I have done the past couple years. And I uh, am doing the same thing I did last year where since I work a full-time job, I can't always watch a horror movie every day of the month of October. So I'm kind of cheating and I'm going to start... This is recording in the end of September. So I'm going to kind of go that way where I won't fully watch one every single day of October, but I will do 31 reviews. Um, it's hard to do it whenever you got a full-time job, and I can't always make time to watch a movie every single day. Um, I'm going to try my best, but I've decided to start early, and I want to be honest with you guys, because I don't want to say that I watch these all one day each for 31 days, because also watching a movie every single day for 31 days is a little bit much, too. So I'm starting early, but this will be uploaded on October 1st. And the first movie that I watched was Hobgoblins, and I have never seen Hobgoblins before. This is a movie that I've heard such a bad reputation about. I've heard that it's terrible. I hear that it's horrendous, like it's awful, and I hear that uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000 made it popular. Um, and I didn't know what to expect watching Hobgoblins, but watching this one, I was... For the most part, I was genuinely just bored watching this one. This one wasn't very interesting. It's really a mixture of trying to be like gremlins or ghoulies or critters. Like it's trying to be that creature feature movie, but it's just so incredibly low budget where the monsters aren't shown a lot. Every once in a while they'll be in it, but most of the time it's just these these characters getting into weird stuff. And the basic plot of this is that there's creatures named Hobgoblins that have been here for 2,000 years. And this old man, McCready, I think, or McCreary or whatever, this old man has been guarding them at this factory. And then they let loose. And then these uh, creatures create fantasies, wildest fantasies for the people before they die. And that it sounds like similar to something like Nightmare on Elm Street as well, where like you get, you're in a dream and it's like fantasy-like and then like you get killed. It felt similar to that as well. This came out in 1988, so I could see the influence there. But really, at the end of the day, watching this one, um, some people say it's a so bad it's good movie, and uh, in ways I can see that. But I honestly just found it a lot of a, a lot of a bore. Like I just thought it was very uninteresting. Um, I can't name off a single character besides that McCreary or McCready character. I can't even say his name right. But this one is just incredibly boring. It. It's weird because the movie, for the most part, is a boring, like, comedy horror. But then, like, almost half, at least more than halfway through, it suddenly becomes a music movie. And, like, there's, like, 10 or 15 minutes worth of music. And I like the music, to be honest. I did. I actually dug the music they were playing at this bar. Um, but the movie just didn't do anything that made me feel like I'll remember it, really, at all. Like, I really don't know if I remember much about it. It is interesting because it's got moments of like incredibly stupid stuff that like supposed to be funny but I just thought eh like there's a guy who's supposed to have exploded and then he comes back in crutches and I thought it would be funnier but it wasn't really that funny. Um, like I said it's just it honestly is the so far from these creature feature movies I've seen like gremlins like critters like ghoulies like those kind of movies. This one is definitely the worst I've seen, but it's it's not the outright worst movie I've seen. It's definitely terrible, but it just wasn't it wasn't so terrible that it made me upset or angry. Like honestly, watching movies like say I watched Sledgehammer like a couple months ago, and that was on Joe Bob Briggs' uh, Last Driving, which I'd never seen before, and it was low budget horror, and I thought that movie was horrendous and just horrible, and, and I know it's low budget and it's bad to say that, like in terms of hating on a low budget, because they don't have much to work with, but I couldn't stand that one, and it and it's definitely not on that level, it's just really, for the most part uninteresting, and not funny and uh, it's weird because some people see it in the so bad it's good category which, if you like that, that's awesome, but more power to you, but I just did not think it was that fun um really at all. So the first day of 31 Days of Horror just kind of started out on a whimper. It was just not that great. Maybe if I watch Mystery Science Theater's version of it, which I do want to watch them eventually. I've never seen any episodes of Mystery Science Theater. I do want to go do that eventually, but uh, this 
on its own. I watched it on the Elvira, 13 Nights of Elvira, and she made me laugh with her inter intersections in the movie, like, whenever she popped up. But it's still, it's weird, because this one, she wasn't in it as much. And I've watched the couple of 13 Nights of Elvira. Like, I watched the Puppet Master one, and I watched the Demonic Toys one, and I watched this one, and I think that's it so far. Um, there's, like, 13, of course, 13 episodes of 13 Nights of Elvira. But, I wa but this is version I watched was on the 13 Nights of Elvira. So having her in it did make it a little more funnier, but I still thought the movie was so un un like so forgettable that I just didn't really... Like, it was funny with her bits in it, but it just didn't work still. Like, I just thought it was pretty uninteresting and pretty boring. So um, that's my quick review um, on Hobgoblins. So like I said, it's definitely one of the worst I've seen so far with these creature movies. So first day of 31 days went out, whatever. It's just all, it's an all, it's not good. It was a, it was a bad one, but I'm excited to see what else I'm going to watch for 31 days. So stay tuned for tomorrow for the next one or, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.